Good day and welcome to our short evaluation of the Dell 5490. What we're going to do is uh, some performance testing. There's a This unit shipped with a spinning disk. Uh, I just ordered the uh, crappy uh, Seagate uh, 500 gig um, uh, low cache spinning disk. Nothing very exciting. Uh, what I've done so far is uh, I've taken the back off. It's a grand total of eight screws. Uh, sorry, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not uh, very challenging. There's a there's a pick point here. You can see a little notch called pick point. Uh, I found it very difficult uh, to pull off, and I needed to actually start in this corner. And I actually ended up using a pair of needle nose pliers to grab and pull that off uh, to lift this out. But at any rate, it did come out, and life is on its way. So. Um, right now the back is off of this and I'm about to run a performance test but I did want to show you the inside of it in case you haven't seen it before to show you where you know the battery is and and basically there's a couple of things with the discs that um, is not very clear so let's flip this up and take a little looky loo so the first thing is and I, yes I just placed this back in by the way there is the uh, standard spinning disc you can see I've already disconnected it there are four screws which I've taken out uh, that just comes off disconnect this and you're on your way now I could put a standard uh, SSD into it, uh, working off SATA, but I didn't want to do that. And the reason I didn't want to do that is because I wanted to run the infinitely faster, well, infinitely is a big exaggeration, but a lot faster uh, PCI Express uh, bus. So uh, to do that, I ordered two SSDs, one for this very small slot here, a 22, four, uh, 42, so 22 mil wide, 42 mil long uh, slot. Um, and the second is a 2280, so 22 wide and 40, uh, sorry, 80 long. The difference is this is a B plus M keyed drive. Let me show you the box. So you can see it's B plus M, so it has the two slots. Um, and uh, that made a difference. Uh, it's basically, to be straightforward, uh, this key would not function in, uh, or this card is uh, keyed differently and would not, uh, not fit in there. Uh, which is not a surprise, it's as per spec. Uh, what is a surprise is that Dell tells you both online and if you phone and talk to even corporate uh, support and corporate sales that this slot is not usable for uh, an SSD. It's labeled WWAN underneath, so WAN um, uh, underneath that. And uh, while that's uh, probably true, in the end, that's just a standard PCI Express bus slot. So, so let's quickly go over the, uh, the inside of this. There's your CPU and fan. Um, that is your memory. I the one I ordered, I, I left a slot open because I want to put more memory in, in the future. Battery, easy enough to change, pull the tape off. There's a cable here, pop the cable out, swap the battery. Speakers, um, uh, and I guess that's that. So let's flip it back over and let's do some benchmarks. I'm going to benchmark three systems. I'm going to benchmark this disc, which is the, um, I shouldn't point with the other disc, it gets confusing, which is the uh, 2242 120 gig Toshiba uh, SSD off the PCI Express bus. I'm going to benchmark this uh, Western Digital Black at 512 gig, um, which is supposed to be blindingly fast, off of this PCI Express uh, connector right here. And then I will connect the SATA disk back in and I will run it uh, off of uh, the standard SATA connector. Um, so, in fact, I'm going to run a fourth test, which is to run a standard SATA disk off of this SATA connector as well. So we'll run all four. Let's, let's do that. I'm going to use the same benchmark for each one, and in each case, I'm going to run the same configuration, which is Windows 1803 with the June updates, uh, and all of the drivers loaded from Dell that were available today, which is mid-June 2018. So nothing else. There's no other garbage on here, nothing taking up space. So let's flip this thing over and start the benchmark. I will show you the benchmark on the first one here. The others I will just accelerate through so you can uh, see what I'm doing here. So I've already installed Nova Bench. Uh, I'm going to delete these drivers that I loaded. And uh, of course, I just made that worse. There we go. They're gone. Uh, I've also flashed the BIOS to the most current build. Um, and that's it. So let's go through here and go to Nova Bench and run it. Uh, I'm in Device Manager. You can see everything is loaded up. Happy. There are no bangs. Nothing's confused. Okay, so let's uh, give it a go. Okay, so this came up with a score of 1384. It's worth noting that I ran a uh, same benchmark against a 5480, uh, which is last year's model, uh, running an SSD as a caching disk, and it uh, came up at uh, about 1330, so this is slightly faster 
than that. Now that's of course, this is using the, you know, the full system. It's also worth noting that this is running the integrated uh, video. Uh, I much prefer the integrated video. I don't like the heat. I don't like the electricity. Um, I don't like the weight of having additional products in there. It's more, I don't like the additional drivers. It's more stuff to go wrong. And for God, the vast majority of corporate applications, there's just not a need for, um, for uh, graphics beyond uh, the integrated. Yes, I know if you're gaming, this isn't sufficient. This is not a gaming machine. This is going to be pretty much a workstation. It will be doing some pretty high-end graphics, but uh, nothing that the integrated can't handle. So um, uh, what uh, people, I think, have to realize when it comes to video is that uh, the integrated video today is like the greatest video card ever two years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> three years ago. So uh, as these things progress, yes, you could get better, but it's pretty damn good. All right, so uh, I'm going to now flip this off and I'm going to install Windows 10 on these other disks and we'll go through there. I'm gonna speed up and I'll just end up on the results so you can see the different configurations. So again, this is the configuration using the uh, Toshiba, um, here it is here, the Toshiba, uh, which is really an OCZ uh, chip, um, RC100, 120 gig uh, SSD. So as you can see there, that's the chip, it's B plus M keyed. I'm just gonna put that down now, I don't need it. Let's pop in the other one. I already have it imaged, so this will be fast. Pop that in. Yes, I should screw it down. I'm not going to bother. I'm in a hurry. And uh... okay, so disk score 94. Overall 1380, so about the same as the last one. No surprise, they're both uh, SSDs, but they're more specifically the most both PCI Express SSDs. Shouldn't be any big difference there. Let's move on now, or actually let's move backwards now and try to go to a uh, to a uh, SATA connected uh, SSD and then we'll go off to the spinning disk for fun. So one thing I did need to do to get this to function was to go into the BIOS and change the uh, boot order, which was a bit of a surprise. So uh, let's just show you that. Uh, to get this to function with the 2280 in particular, although the, or sorry, the 2242 SSD, I needed to go in and set the boot sequence. What I need to do is click like this and put it to the top of the list, uh, and then everything was fine. So here we are with a standard SSD, and yes, I realize that there's really no such thing as a standard SSD, but what I'm speaking of is a, is a SATA US uh, SSD, and there are a lot of different speeds you can get with that, but this one's pretty standard, so let's just run through this and give you a, good, a pretty good idea how this compares. Boom, so about the same performance number, disk score 76, which you, know, you can see 331 and 492 for read and write. Okay, here we are with the spinning disk installed, and let's see how that works. Let's go to Nova Bench, and by the way, the answer is terrible. But let's start a test and look at the real numbers. Yeah, 32, 130, this is terrible. Yeah, 114, 130 read, uh, and an overall disk score of 32, which drops the total score to 1330, but really, that's a very inaccurate number because this really tells the tale about how slow this is with the spinning disk. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.